Hello everyone. So today we are going to prepare a curry called as bendekai gojju in Kannada. Um, we can also call it uh, okra curry. So we start with breaking half a coconut uh, into smaller pieces. And uh, the first step here is basically to prepare a masala paste uh, that we are going to mix in the curry at a later point of time along with the coconut pieces we are going to use a couple of tomatoes and a handful of coriander leaves you can also add a few cloves and a little cinnamon when all this is ready transfer this into a mixer jar you can add a couple of spoons of coriander powder depending on your taste you can add a little bit of chili powder red chili powder uh, if you're making it for kids uh, keep it really low uh, once this is ready you can uh, grind it and uh, mix it up and in the addition here maybe you might want to grind the coconut first and then you could add everything else uh, also remember to add water before grinding that paste so now we start preparing the seasoning or vagarne for this we'll use one or two onions depending on your taste buds we'll use a few curry leaves and a few pieces of uh, garlic now again you might want to use ginger garlic paste which is absolutely fine or you might also want to uh, simply use garlic the way i'm doing it here once the seasoning preparation is ready we'll uh, get the lady's finger or okras also ready we are going to cut off the top and bottom edge of the okras to make them nicer now i've already cleaned and uh, washed uh, sorry uh, dried these uh, pieces of uh, okras so you can slice them into maybe half an inch or 0.75 inch or even up to an inch of size. Don't make them too small. Uh, for this particular preparation, we need them to be uh, as large as at least uh, 0.75 inches. So once this is ready, we are going to switch on the gas and uh, for a little bit of ghee you can also use oil and fry the okras i'm not sure if you all know that okras are botanically classified as fruits but we consume them as vegetables it's very good for health uh, it, it it's a vegetable that's available to us through all the seasons and it also helps in controlling blood sugar so it's recommended for uh, people who have uh, sugar, diabetes, etc. <coughs> so we fry the okras uh, for a few minutes until the color changes. Uh, once you see that the color is changing and a little bit of blackish uh, appearance on the okras, we transfer them into a different bowl. Now we'll use the same pan add a couple of uh, spoons of oil or ghee and after the oil has heated we'll add a spoon of mustard seeds, cumin seeds and chana dal once you see that these are getting cooked we are going to add the seasoning uh, that we have prepared the ingredient for the seasoning so add the sliced onions, ginger, curry leaves all into the pan and uh, stir them well do this for uh, a few minutes until the onions start changing their color and uh, you start noticing that the onions are well cooked once you notice that the onions are well cooked uh, the paste that we had prepared earlier uh, you you can add that into the uh, preparation. 
to ensure that the paste is uh, fully added you can add a little water um, into the jar and uh, you know add that water into uh, in the pan now here you should note that you can use this particular uh, preparation for consuming with chapatis in which case this will have to be a little uh, thicker you can also use it uh, for consuming with rice in which case uh, you will have to add a little more water and make it uh, slightly thinner now, as per your taste and preference you can add ginger garlic paste you can add salt you can add some tamarind paste to give it a tangy flavor uh, i'm using a little bit of tamarind concentrate and depending on who is eating it uh, you can control the amount of red chili powder that you are adding into this add some salt also depending on your taste buds so like i was saying uh, you can control the amount of water that you are going to add into this preparation uh, depending on what is the uh, end goal are you going to consume with rotis chapatis or are you going to consume with rice close the lid uh, let this preparation cook for about two three minutes now you see that it's uh, cooked and uh, then what you can do is add a glass or two of water to achieve the desired consistency i'm adding a couple of glasses of water here because i want to consume this with rice so a somber kind of texture or uh, consistency is what i'm looking at uh, here is a last small ingredient that we're going to add uh, which is jaggery now again depending on your taste buds and the uh, ones who are going to consume this you can decide whether to or whether not to add this i'm going to add a teaspoon of jaggery uh, uh, into this after adding jaggery again i'm going to leave this to boil for about four, five minutes let the preparation cook well um, now you can see that it's boiling hot the masalas have mixed well and once you're sure that uh, the preparation is well ready the last step is to add the okras after adding the okras mix them well the objective is to ensure that the okras absorb masalas the masala enters the pieces of uh, okras and uh, that kind of adds taste uh, into this preparation cook this well for about 5 to 6 minutes and give it some time don't overcook uh, if you overcook what's going to happen is it's going to become too mushy or it might even uh, become slightly thicker so cook it for maybe about 5 to 6 minutes until the curry is ready and uh, there we go probably the best ever okra curry is ready to be served maybe leave it for a couple of minutes maybe 3 minutes 5 minutes and we'll actually plating it uh, let's give it some time so try this at home and uh, hopefully you will like it if you have any suggestions comments or you want to share your experience of how this came out please uh, feel free to do that and uh, please follow this channel for uh, more such recipes going forward this weekend cooking with puneet thank you